Hello everyone, we are back with our Arcanum series, and we have just found where Kintara is, the Elven City. So we will head there, um, but first I wanted to take care of a couple of things. The okay, one thing I wanted to show off was uh, if you wanted to kill somebody and you didn't want to lose uh, alignment for it, you can use these gauntlets. So these baneful gauntlets, you can drop them on the ground next to somebody and just kind of walk away. And typically they will go and pick him up, just like you did. So these things, they remove your fatigue and they give you a poison dot. As you can see, his health's going down and his fatigue is dropping. These are the ones that actually almost killed uh, Virgil. Yeah. If we look at our uh, alignment, we have a hundred. So um, it's almost like he's committing suicide. He's killing himself using these gauntlets. And um, I wanted to show you off with this because there's another path to getting to Kentara. Um, on this guy is a amulet. And the amulet is Entala. We look at his inventory. Uh, he has uh, these uh, amulet of Entala. And if you... Uh, remember in the very beginning when we were at shrouded hills there was a lady that was looking for this amulet and the lady also knows where kentara is so if we give her the amulet we could trade that information that amulet for information on where kentara is so you don't have to actually have this guy be alive so when he dies i will show you how to do that and also in this episode i do want to go over a few places we haven't gone yet so we can probably go to, uh, let's just look at our map here real quick. The Stonecutter Clan. And there's also a couple of places, um, a couple of hidden places we can go around here. So this will be like a part two of our hidden dungeons area. All right, so he's dead. Grab this off of him. Let's take his bow and the amulet. There's nothing in this chest, I don't think. No. All right, so we now have this, so we can go to turn in that quest now. All right, so in this episode, uh, like I said, we're going to tie up some loose ends and we're going to do a couple of um, hidden dungeons. So this will kind of be a catch-all episode of things we haven't completed yet. And at this point in the game, there's a couple of things that we can do. We also need to go to tell uh, Liana in Dernholm about the king. That's one thing we have to do as well. I think we forgot to tell uh, one of the Wheel Mountain Clan people um, about the dwarf that was in the uh, island here. We haven't done that yet either. All right, so what we can do is go find this hidden cave, which I think is right here. There's a cave, a hidden dungeon, and it's right up in here somewhere. There it is. All right, so this is a fire elemental cave, so we definitely want to be careful. And you will lose arm, take armor damage. All right, so this is the guy with the kill. Level 35, fire elemental. And there's a uh, item we can get from him. Probably didn't need to use Hasten, or we could just disintegrate him too. Might have been uh, cleaner. Alright, so we have a ring. I think this is a magic ring, so we get to have uh, plus 10 to all stats. Or uh, all of our resistances. Alright, so the next place. Yeah, watch out for this pool of lava, because it will melt your armor. We are at uh, 10 out of 80. That's not good. All right, so that's one place we can go to. The next place we can go to is uh, a shipwreck. That's somewhere on Lana's coastline up here. Um, I'm going to go there, but first I do want to go and 
talk to uh let's just go to shredded hills first Okay, so we're in Shrouded Hills, and this is the lady that asked us in the very beginning um, to find her the amulet. So let's talk to her. Okay, so... I've located your amulet. Here we go. A thousand coins. There we go. And she knows where Katara is. So that's a quest. Done. Alright. Um, I don't know who could repair here, so we're going to go to the next place. And we're going to go to uh, Dernholm. Talk to Liana. Okay, we're now in Dernholm, and here's Liana's house next to uh, this uh, general store here. Let's tell her about the king. Bring news of Maximilian, Liana. Her eyes wide, unbelieving. Oh my god, Maximilian. We never dreamed that he was still alive. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, he's in the Isle of Despair. I see. Thank you, my friend. My father would have been so happy. He used to talk of Maximilian endlessly, saying how Cumbria would have been even greater had he taken his rightful place on the throne. Perhaps there might still come to pass. I will go and return with the true king. I certainly hope so. Farewell, Liana. There we go. Okay, so another thing we could do here um, with our awesome gauntlets is kill the guy for the ring. So I remember that quest we had to get the ring from this guy. Hope we can do that now. Let's uh, make sure Virgil doesn't follow me in. Let's drop this on the ground here. There he goes. Got him. And <laughs> the guard came in too. Alright, so he's gonna die. Then we'll be able to get the ring from him. So let's wait for him to keel over. Is he healing? No, he's not. Okay. So I'm gonna pass time, then we'll uh, come back when it's dead. Okay, uh, he's dead. This guy must have a lot of constitution. Because uh, it took him a while to die. Let's grab this ring here. Everything else can stay. Let's go return it to Gladys, and then that quest will be finished. I ah, found your ring. You did. How did you find it? Uh, Archibald gave it to me. She did. Or he did. She looks sad. I see. Oh, uh, thank you, of course. May I please have the ring? Uh, of course, here it is. There you go. Easy as that. And we didn't aggro into the guards because we didn't really do anything wrong. Okay, um, now we're going to head up the Stonecutter Clan, which is the quest from uh, Thrain Ironheart. He wants us to find his brother, Erlen, in the Stonecutter clan. Tell him to go back home. This is the Stonecutter clan. Uh, if you look at our map, it's right there in the mountains, uh, just below the Black Mountain Mines, and way above the uh, Shrouded Hills area. Let's go in here. This place is pretty neat. I like how uh, they did this. We see some undead here.
There's a, a passageway here. Okay. All right. So, uh, level thirty bludgeoner. Let's uh, do a couple things. Let's uh, pop our agility on our dog. I'm gonna pop shield on myself. And on Virgil. Yeah, that didn't do much. Oh, he's a hard one to kill. So Virgil's got the shield on him, so it's gonna be sort of helpful. Um Let's give a hasten to our dog as well. We can't do that, Dan, can we? I'm gonna remove my shield, give him hasten, and then I guess we could flash fire these guys. Oh, Virgil, heal. hit for days. Alright. Alright, so what happened is uh, these this clan here, and we'll hear it from the dwarves here in a second, but they uh, uncovered this, um, this necromancer's lab. If we look here, uh, there's a medallion here, a ring, um, and a book. And also this necromizer. So we get some uh, interesting stuff from here. These guys can, oh, yeah, no loot from these guys. Um, I think that's pretty much it in here. So now what we can do is go and talk to the dwarves. Be very careful about these traps. Uh, I also wanted to spend some time and talk about the book that we picked up from the dungeon. And it's a journal uh, by a guy named Kurgan. And he was the first human to be a part of the Elven Council. So uh, also on the Elven Council were uh, two people that are important in this game called Nazrudin and Aranax. And so we met Aranax already. Nazrudin is the other half of the story and we're supposed to be his reincarnate. So both of them, uh, in Kurgan's journal, he is the first guy to discover necromancy, hence all the people you see here. And he did experiments, and the Elven Council found out about it. And so both Nazrudin and Aranax, uh, they banished, and the Council, they banished Kurgan to the Void. Which is pretty common practice, as we will find out. A lot of entities are banished to the void that are too, I guess, too much of a plague on the earth. So, uh, Kurgan is in the void, and also so is Aranex, surprisingly. So we will find out more about this story uh, when we get close to the end of the game. Okay, here's the dwarves here. Uh, we talked to these guys.
Uh, what happened here? He chuckles. Uh, uh, I would be responsible for this. Uh, I found an ancient necromancer's laboratory off an old abandoned access cavern. In researching his journals, I deduced a way to produce what he had done through magic by using scientific principles. So you created all these zombies. I was a bit irresponsible. I assure you that it was an accident. The first one I created began an awful horrific screeching and flailing about. It knocked over my chemicals and before I knew it, they were coming out of the floor. They were everywhere. Luckily, I was able to get back here to warn everyone. I'm looking for Ironheart. Of course, I know him. I'm him. Your brother sent me to ask you to go home. <laughs> Thrain. Poor Thrain. He's been so overprotective of me since our father died. He blames himself for it, you know. Uh, what happened to your father? I'd rather not speak of it. I'd be best to be on my way home so that my dear brother doesn't worry himself to death. I'll be going now. There we go. Alright, so that is pretty much it for in here. There's a couple of more zombies somewhere around here. Actually, no, there's not. Okay. This place is cleared. So what we can do now is go to the next place. Okay, we are back here at the uh, Wheel Clan. I'm going to go talk to uh, Thrain after we've got his brother to come back home. Spoken with your brother. We are returning shortly. He had a bit of a mishap here. Let's go how to make zombies through technology. <laughs> uh, okay. Done. Alright, uh, one of the other places I wanted to go to was to go to the ancient shipwreck. And that is along the coastline. It's right around this little point here. I'm going to head there. It should pop up. There it is. Ancient shipwreck. Yeah, so we're there. So this place isn't very interesting at daytime, but at nighttime, uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of skeletons spawn here. And you can do a lot of levels from here, which is very nice. I'm going to uh, pass the time to nighttime, and I'm going to show you uh, these guys that pop up. Alright, it's nighttime, and we're at the ancient shipwreck. And so we should get some skeletons spawning around there. They are. This is a good place to uh, get some levels and some extra loot if case you were looking for something like that. They aren't too hard to kill. Grab some loot. There's Catherine Crystals. So if you need Catherine Crystals, this is also a good place. Uh, here's a, a nice sword. More swords. And you have to come here at, at night. Uh, it won't work in the daytime. It's a body. Okay. There we go. That is uh, what you do here. All right. Um, I did remember that uh, that necklace I gave to Galen is a pretty good necklace. It has plus one strength and constitution. So we definitely want to get that back from her. 
So I gave her the old gauntlets of death. And so I'm going to wait for her to, she, she can heal herself. So she'll have to pass out from fatigue and then we'll be able to get those, uh, the necklace back. And you don't want to do the gauntlets of death on anyone that is important. So just people that are just kind of like off to the side, aren't too important. Um, some vendors are okay to kill, but you definitely don't want to do that to important people. Um, because she's a uh, a vendor, we actually can raid her chest when she's gone. So just another cheap way to get around uh, certain things in this game. And we'll have a necklace as well. The necklace will be really nice to have because we do uh, have 18 constitution right now. So having 19 will be nice. Um, at a certain point, you can never be poisoned. I think it's level at 20 constitution. You're immune to poison. All right, so I'm going to pass the time, and then we will come back when she's gone. All right. So let's get the stuff. She has the disarm scroll. Scroll of ice. Nice. Uh, let's get that off of her. And let's get our amulet back. Uh, we don't need the dress. So now if we equip the amulet... We see that our strength and constitution went up and our uh, heal rate uh, went up a little bit too because of our constitution. Uh, our carry weight went up a little bit too, so we got 4,000. So that's actually a really nice necklace to have. Um, unfortunately, we had to take someone out for it, but that's okay. It's not very helpful. Uh, we could also just raid her stuff to... No one's actually going to stop us from doing that. Uh, so we can get some other stuff in here. For gold. Uh, this is actually really expensive. Alright, everything else I didn't really care about. Alright, so that's going to wrap up this episode. Next episode, we will definitely go to Kintara. We've done everything that we need to do on this side of the map. So now we'll go to Kintara and then start exploring the other side of the map beyond the mountains. So I appreciate you watching this. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.